And another major airline is jumping into supersonic air travel. American Airlines is joining United in placing a very big order from an upstart Denver company. It's an effort to bring back the age of the flying New York to the Concorde flights flying from New York to Paris in just over three hours. NBC's Tom Costello has more on the future of these flights. Time to create the world's fastest airliner. Could the future of aviation actually be retro? Time to turn the past into the present. Like back to the Concorde. It was 2003 when the Concorde last flew passengers over the Atlantic at twice the speed of sound. But the Concorde was too loud and too expensive. A fatal crash in 2000 put an end to the program. Now, Denver's Boom Aviation is promising to take travelers back to the future with a four-engine plane it calls Overture. It's about time. New this morning, American Airlines has signed on, ordering 20 of its own supersonic planes, following United Airlines, which has already ordered 15, both with options for more. Other customers include Japan Airlines and the U.S. Air Force. They're going to need to be hundreds of Overture aircraft to carry the tens of millions of passengers around the world who can benefit from supersonic. You think that many people want to go supersonic? I think everybody wants to go supersonic. Last year, Boom's CEO gave us a tour. So if I'm a United passenger, I may be flying your supersonic jet by the end of the decade. By the end of the decade. We want to do supersonic as quickly as possible. We think the world needs this. Boom says its planes will be lighter, smaller, quieter, and slightly slower than Concorde. Concorde flew at Mach 2. Boom will fly at Mach 1.7, cutting current flight times in half. New York to London in three and a half hours, Seattle to Tokyo, four and a half, with planes carrying up to 80 passengers. So every seat, you're gonna have a large window where you can see the view from 60,000 feet, the curvature of the earth, the sky a deeper blue. Boom says its engines will use 100% sustainable fuels. The real question, how many people will pay for a faster supersonic flight? Are there enough people who would be willing to pay four, five, six thousand dollars to fly between New York and London in just three and a half hours? Maybe, but it's a limited market. But this morning, American and United Airlines believe if you build it, the customers will come.